So I went to Italy to buy a house for just one dollar and came back to the United States with two. To be fair, I paid more than a dollar for my properties, and for good reason. The year homes that remained were more beat up than I wanted, but Valeria, the real estate agent, showed me two premium listings that I fell in love with. In today's video, I'm going to cover the real cost of purchasing Euro homes. I'm also going to clear the air of some of the misinformation out there that may be causing some people to withdraw from the idea of buying their dream home in Italy. My name is Carl Pierre and this is ENTP Life. On this channel, I mostly talk about real estate, business, and then anything else that I'm into. This is episode four of buying my cheap Italian property. And if this is the type of content that you'd enjoy, please make sure that you like, subscribe, and of course, leave your questions and comments in the comment section below. First, let's start with eliminating the misinformation. Number one, the cost of renovations is not hundreds of thousands of dollars. You can rebuild these homes from scratch at a price of just $70 a square foot because labor costs are fairly low in Italy. These homes aren't that large, so it's not going to run you so much money to actually rebuild one of these things. I bought a premium listing because the end game would cost me a lot less. I'm expecting to buy and rehab for less than $20 a square foot, which is insanely cheap considering new construction costs. Keep in mind, there are people out there who prefer to buy the Euro homes because it's a blank canvas, and to them it's more valuable so that they can build it exactly how they want it. Another inaccurate rumor out there is that this is a scam. This is not a scam or a bait and switch. These houses are being legally sold to revitalize the communities experiencing population loss. People are moving to bigger, more profitable European cities for work and education. So these towns are just shrinking. And the third myth that I want to dispel is that taxes are extremely high. This is not true, especially compared to the ridiculous taxes that I pay in New York. My taxes are projected to be between six and $700 a year, so that's not expensive. Now onto the process and costs associated with buying these homes. This is probably the most asked question and the reason why I'm doing this video in the first place. No other videos out there are going over the steps and the costs the way that I'm going to, and I want to make sure that you guys are informed. So step one, schedule a viewing. I worked with an agent by the name of Valeria and her information is in the description below. Make sure you let her know that I recommended you. The important thing is you need to go and see these properties yourself. And if you don't know anything about rehab and real estate, make sure you go with a contractor to help you price it out. I have a contractor that I trust who does really good work. So if you're going through the process, email me and I'll put you in contact with him. Just because these are dollar homes doesn't mean that you could just buy them sight unseen because there are penalties for not rehabbing the property. They give you two to three years to finish it and those penalties could be $5,000 or higher. Step number two is you're going to need a Codice Fiscale. It's an Italian tax ID number and it costs about $15 or so to get it. Step three, touring houses. After you find a property that you like, you're gonna put in an offer and then if it's accepted, you can move on to step four. You're expected to worry about a 10% deposit to buy the property that's in contract. The cool thing about Italy is that if the seller reneges, they pay you double your deposit, but if you default, your deposit gets taken. Step five is to pay the broker's fee. This is about 600 euros, and because the properties are so cheap, you're paying the broker's fee or else it wouldn't make sense for them to even work these deals in the first place. Step six is getting ready to close. In this step, you'll have to sign your proxy documents. This might not be that familiar with you because it was kind of strange to me. I'm paying Valeria to be my proxy because she's gonna sign off on the properties for me. And it's costing me $180 to do so. What she had to do was send me some documents. I went to the notary public, got that signed, and then I have to send it to the Florida Department of State to get an apostasial completed. Apparently, this is to verify if the notary is legit. That's costing me around $20. After that, I have to take those documents send it via FedEx, which is gonna cost me you know, $300 or less, but it really depends on where you're shipping it from. Step seven, the closing. For this, you're gonna to need to pay the Italian notary, which functions a lot like a title agent. This amount is gonna be about 2,500 euros depending on the paperwork. I bought premium listings, but I did ask about the Euro homes and what to expect. Now for Euro homes, you can expect similar fees, but depending on the municipality, you may have to leave the security deposit that is forfeited if you don't complete the project. Other cities will fine you. In Musumeli, I heard the fine is as high as 5,000 euros, and that's if you don't complete the structural and exterior work. So in total, you're gonna to be looking to pay about 3,500 to $4,000 in fees. Now, I hope this video was informative and gives you more confidence to take the chance to go and buy something in Italy. Go there and purchase your dream international home. So as a quick summary, I'm gonna go through all the steps one more time. The first thing you wanna do, 
go out to Italy and find the house that you want to make an offer out on. Once you have the offer in, you're going to be expecting to put down a 10% deposit. But before any transaction can happen, you need to apply for the Codice Fiscale. This is a one day process. You could get in and out. You just go to the municipality. It's super simple. Once you have that tax ID number, you're going to be able to complete all the paperwork that you need to form your contract. To bind a contract, again, 10% down, the rest is going to be due at closing. I don't know anything about mortgages, so don't ask me that question. You might want to Google that because I'm buying these properties cash. After a few months of going back and forth, the title is going to be ready and it's going to be time for you to close. If you're going to be using a proxy, there's some fees associated with that, around 180 euros. You're going to need to do that additional paperwork for the proxy. Make sure you mail it there in advance. When they're ready to close, your closing fee is going to be about $2,500 that you're going to pay to the notary and then you're going to have to wire him the rest of the money so that you're able to close out the transaction. You're not going to necessarily have to be back in Italy to complete the transaction. Once you go and you sign all your paperwork, you can do everything remotely. I hope this has been very helpful for you and if you enjoyed this content, please make sure to like, subscribe and any questions or comments, write in the comment section below. If you haven't seen the previous videos, make sure you go check them out and see exactly what the journey has been so far. In the next video, I'm going to be going into the carrying costs. That's also some questions that I've been asked. It's like, how much do I expect to pay month to month or per year to maintain these properties? That's going to be going into taxes, water bills, electricity garbage costs and all that. So if you're more interested in those fees, that's going to be the next video coming up for you. And then it's going to be the closing, the rehab, man, it's going to be so much going down. But once again, thank you. See you later.